Google released more free Gemini 2.0 AI models and expanded availability for this family of models. They're building on low latency and high performance features of their initial 2.0 flash launch. In this Gemini 2.0 announcement, they're giving us updates for four AI models. We have Gemini 2.0 Pro, which is Google's strongest frontier model, the optimal model for coding and complex problems. 2.0 Pro is available as an experimental model to preview. 2.0 Flash is for fast responses. It's their powerful workhorse model with low latency and enhanced performance built to power agentic experiences. 2.0 Flash is production ready and available to all users. 2.0 Flash Thinking takes you through reasoning and thought. This enhanced reasoning model is capable of showing its thoughts to improve performance and explainability. 2.0 Flash Thinking looks like the most interesting release. It's available to preview for everyone and includes access to popular Google apps, which I'm excited to test. Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite is the most cost efficient model in the family. It is available to preview as well. Let's dig deeper, see where you can use these models, and compare a few in action. We'll save the best for last, so we'll start with the Flash models. Gemini 2.0 Flash is the workhorse model that's ready, optimized for high volume, high frequency tasks. Think massive data processing, but with incredible speed and efficiency. This model is generally available, meaning it's ready for prime time. Developers can build production-ready applications using Flash 2.0. Google DeepMind gives us something of a roadmap for Gemini 2.0 Flash, showing us we can expect the delivery of a couple new features. There's the native image generation where we can create or edit images and seamlessly blend them with text. I'm wondering if they'll just incorporate Imagine 3 and its capabilities, or if they'll try to improve the model, make it faster for image generation. There's also the native text-to-speech, where we can easily steer Gemini's speaking style to match any mood. Right now in AI Studio with Stream Real Time, we have a couple options of voices to choose from but it doesn't look like you can change the pitch of the voice, nor can you successfully ask it to express certain emotions. And then there's the native tool use, which is currently available in AI Studio with features such as code execution, function calling, and Google search. If we scroll down, we can see some more information. It supports multimodal inputs like text, image, video, audio. It supports text outputs, 1 million tokens for input, 8,000 tokens for output. Gemini 2.0 Flash is best for low latency scenarios for quick responses and for automating tasks. It's available via Google AI Studio, the Gemini API, Google Web App, and in Vertex AI. Now, if we go back to our models, we'll take a look at 2.0 Flash Thinking, which is the Flash variant that reasons before answering. In its responses, it shows you its work like how your teachers would ask you to show your work when solving problems. Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking possesses enhanced performance, where it excels in science and math. It has long context, a 1 million token context window, improved thinking, so more consistency between thoughts and answers, and tool use with code execution to run and evaluate code. You can see that Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking outperforms Gemini 1.5 Pro and Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental in the math, science, and multimodal reasoning. 
these charts show us the progress between Gemini 2.0 Flash to 2.0 Flash thinking in math and science. It only supports text and image for input and text for output. Since it shows you its reasoning, it has a larger output window with 64,000 tokens, eight times larger than other models. It's best for complex tasks that don't need quick immediate responses. You can use Gemini 2.0 Flash thinking in Google AI Studio with the Gemini API. I see it here in the Gemini web app and it's also available with Vertex AI. Now we'll put Gemini 2.0 Flash and Gemini 2.0 Flash thinking head to head in Google AI Studio. Using this image we uploaded, we'll ask it to use the arithmetic operations with the numbers in the image to produce 24. So we can see that Gemini 2.0 Flash immediately begins providing the solution and it only takes four seconds. But with Gemini 2.0 thinking, we can expand the thoughts. We can see that it takes eight seconds compared to the four seconds for Gemini 2.0 Flash. And you can see that first it identifies the task at hand, identifies the numbers in the image, and it tries various combinations in attempts to produce 24. Now, if we actually take a look at the answer, Gemini 2.0 Flash does not solve the problem correctly because 9 minus 1 is 8, but 6 minus 4 is 2, not 3. So that would produce 16 instead of 24. While Gemini 2.0 Flash thinking gives us the correct answer here, 9 minus 1 is 8, minus 4 is 4, times 6 is 24. So we can see the difference in mathematical reasoning here. In the Gemini web app, it notes that we can use Gemini Flash thinking with Google Apps like YouTube, Maps, and Search. So we're going to provide it with this prompt asking it to highlight the key points from this video about foundational LLMs, text generation, and prompt engineering. The video is a collaboration between Kaggle and Google and it's an hour long. I didn't provide any context as to what I wanted Gemini to focus on, so it looks like it just grabbed the metadata and spit that out in the response. I refined my prompt asking Gemini to create an outline of the key points about foundational LLMs, text generation, and prompting. And this is what I'm looking for. You have the three sections for the topics that I mentioned and points for each section. In the same chat, we're asking it where I can find Jordan 3s in the DC area. So it knows to access Google Maps and it gives us several options that we can look at in order to find Jordan 3s along with the map so we can view where the locations are. You can even interact with the map. You can zoom in and out. And as you could see, when you click on one of the markers, it opens up Google Maps. Let's take a look at Gemini 2.0 Flash Lite, the most cost-efficient model in the Gemini family. It's more efficient than 1.5 Flash at the same speed and cost and has a large context window of 1 million tokens. It takes multimodal input of text, image, video, and audio. It gives you text output with a window for 8,000 tokens. It's best for low-cost workflows. You can use it in Google AI Studio with a Gemini API key and with Vertex AI. Now we come to Gemini 2.0 Pro, the top of the line frontier model specifically designed for generating code and handling complex tasks. It has the longest context window of 2 million tokens, 
double the context of Gemini 2.0 Flash, so it can analyze massive data sets. It can leverage tools like Google Search, code execution, and function calling. It takes multimodal input for text, image, video, and audio. It produces text output with support for 8,000 tokens. You can use it as an experimental model in preview Google AI Studio with the Gemini API. If you have Gemini Advanced, you can use it in the Gemini web app or with Vertex AI. Now we'll go to Google AI Studio and provide a prompt, one that I would normally split into two prompts. So we're going to ask it to create a business plan for a link in bio web app targeting marketers and ask it for processes and systems to use to operate the business as a startup, suggesting pros and cons. So it gives us an executive summary, the problem, a solution, the target market, marketing and sales strategy with the different marketing channels, competitive analysis, competitive advantage, financial projections, along with key performance indicators, the team, funding requests, and then for the processes, systems, and tools for product development, it splits it up into these different functions, marketing and sales, customer support, finance and accounting, and for legal and compliance. So for the systems and tools, it suggests specific tools along with the pros and cons. It gives us KPIs to track and startup strategies to keep in mind. In the business plan, it does miss pricing strategy and risks. But overall, it does a pretty good job of providing a response in one shot to a prompt with two complex parts. If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.